Well, this is not a normal painting video, as you can see. I'm here at the beach. We're actually going to be doing a class very soon. And uh, anyway, I just wasn't able to get a painting video out probably for a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to give you more of a travel update, show you that I'm still here. And we'll be resuming regular painting videos very shortly. I'm going to try to get you guys some footage from the class and also just our travels around. So, hope you enjoy it. Sorry about the videos. New videos will be coming very soon. Thanks, guys. Okay, just soften those out. It's going to be perfect. All right. Yep. Same thing. Looking good. Just take it out the brush. Soften the bottom of I think he just discovered it's not so good.
right here to take your video. Oh, you got the same exact thing we were talking about. So you just, all you have to do, you've got it all in the right spot. Mm -hmm. But, so this is my ridge line right here, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to tap just underneath that ridge line. Okay. Just soften those out. It's going to be perfect. All right. Yep. Okay. You good? Just take the paint out of the brush. Basically, the underpainting tone for the mountain. What brush are we using? Detail round brush. All I'm going to come up here and do is a couple of brush strokes to indicate a palm tree. Literally, just a couple of strokes. You can do little trunks, you don't have to. I'm just kind of pulling out. You can even use the paint that's on the canvas. And just pull out these little palm trees. Very faint. They're just dark, they don't get any light or anything. They're just contrasting against the sky. You know, you can kind of make a star shape, a couple of star shapes if you want to, to indicate those little leaves, but I don't even know if I'd bother, just a few strokes, a dabble or two is all you need, really. And just above the line, and I'm going to wiggle like I would be painting a cloud, and I'm going to come underneath the line. I'm going to release pressure and meet up with that squiggly line and stop. Okay. You're not painting an ocean. You're just doing that. Okay, less is more. When it comes to doing some of these patterns, you don't want to overdo. We will put more rocks in here. I'm not finished with the rocks. Oh, and I do have a little of this action right out here. Well, hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. Sorry, this was a short video without uh, painting. But anyway, we'll get back to doing real painting videos very soon. And uh, hopefully you'll jump in and do a class sometime. Because I know I have a lot of fun teaching it. All the students have a great time. I'd love to see you there at a class sometime. All right, well, thanks for watching.